Hello guys, this is Danik with an After Effects tutorial, one of those shiny colorful rainbow color ones that you already saw on the intro. So, in case you haven't subscribed already, just do it, it's free and it's gonna help me a lot. So, don't be a, not gonna say the word about it and just go for it. Yeah, it's completely free. So, without any further ado, uh, on the first part, I'm gonna teach you how to use the effect. Uh, and on the second one, I'm gonna teach you how to use the effect on any clips. So, to begin with, first thing first, we are gonna duplicate the clip, and which is Ctrl D, hotkey for it, and we are gonna add linear color key to the first clip. By the way, this is the only effect that we or preset that we are gonna add to our first clip. So, we are gonna choose the color red and what it does is that technically it removes the red from the clip so on the second clip though we are gonna use colorama which you already see what's happening and we are gonna keyframe the face shift on the first frame and on the last frame i'm gonna go for one whole rotation but with you you can see your keyframes and you can play around with it to see uh, what suits your clip better so far so good we are gonna enhance it a little bit more with the glow effect and you can play around with radius intensity and threshold of course something like this and just play around with it to see what suits your clip so this is how the preset works and it is technically it but as you saw, there was only red on this part of the clip and it was satisfying because we didn't affect any other part of the clip. But what if there was red all around, it was gonna be affected. So this is why I chose the second clip. On this one, I'm gonna change the color of the eye, which is blue, but we have so many blues around. So let's see what's happening. The foundation is the same. We are gonna add linear color key to the first and choose the blue on the eye and what's happening here is that it's affecting so many places around that we don't want to we we'll still go for the colorama and of course glow let's keyframe the colorama again at the beginning and at the end let's go for two this is what, oh, let me reduce it a bit to save time. This is what we have so far, which we don't want. So to make the effect happening on, only on the eye, we are gonna use masks. So duplicate the clip again and remove the effect. G is hotkey for the mask. And in case uh, you don't, want to use the hotkey this is the pen tool that you are gonna use a scroll up and down is to zoom which I am pretty sure you already know that so we are gonna mask around the eye use many key points like I'm doing because I'm gonna teach you how to use tracker also we are gonna mask around both eyes And we are going to open the clip, go to mask, change the add to subtract on both of them. And this is what we, this is what we get. But in case your clip has so uh, a lot of motion that your mask not always covering the eye, you can use the tracker. So how it works is that you select your mask, go to tracker. You can just click this button, which is the play. It automatically goes for the whole clip or the second one you can use for frame by frame. But we are going to use the play. Make sure you always do it on the full resolution or quality. I am doing it on half just for the sake of the video and keep it short. With you, you are gonna see the keyframes in case uh, it's not movement is a lot and it's not always covering the areas that you want. Just go for it and try to correct it. 
and since it's a keyframe it will all it will always be saved automatically and when you correct it on a on a frame again push the button because you already corrected something and it's gonna have better and more decent uh, outcome and result on the next frames and yeah this is actually it so if you guys learned anything don't forget to like and subscribe i'm planning to uh, have more tutorials like this maybe next one with the saber plugins which is completely free and the effects on it are mind-blowing the different ways that you can use them on your clips this is it guys thank you for watching and peace